Yo, what's good, Sneaker Logs? Your boy O checking back in with another little quick sneaker video. Hopefully, everybody been cool since the last video. I just want to drop this here on the channel real quick. This is a dope little pickup for your boy. So, y'all just sit back, hang tight, and I'm gonna hit y'all off. Yo, so here it is, folks. You guys see it. We got the Nike Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG in this very dope, clean, classic, original colorway. This right here is the Black Toe colorway. And in my opinion, man, it's a very dope shoe. Uh,. You know, I was kind of anticipating more with this shoe. This is a 2016 version of the Black Toe Jordan 1 High. Now, I just recently did a video on the previous release, the 2013 release, of this very same shoe. Go check that out in case you missed it. But uh, they're very similar in, in ways. But uh, this shoe right here is, you know, I'm going to give it, you know what I'm saying, a fair. If I'm going to be fair, like I'm going to say that this one, is better quality, you know what I'm saying, all around with the shoe as far as, you know, quality goes, the leather and everything. Now, I will be honest to say I did anticipate more with the shoe just by going off what I was hearing, you know, little whispers and stuff about how the shoe was a better quality. I was, you know, I, I guess I kind of got spoiled since I picked up the uh, the backboards with that, you know, that quality of leather that they put on, you know what I'm saying, this part of the shoe and even a little bit at the toe it wasn't too crazy but it definitely was an upgrade now this right here i guess that's what i'm saying i was anticipating something along those lines so i tried not to i tried not to watch too many reviews and stuff on the shoe because i just was going to try to pick it up and see it for myself for my own opinion if i see it, you know what i'm saying might be influenced you know by when you see something ahead of time so you know it might be influenced by whatever but just seeing them I will say that these overall are better. You know what I'm saying? The quality is better. They're very similar, though. It's not really a um, life or death thing. You know what I'm saying? If you got the last pair, you, you good. You know what I'm saying? These, these are straight, though. These are, these are, I guess, you know, an improvement. So, um, I guess I'll say that, I don't know, man. Like, the shoe... The shoe is, it's it's a basic shoe. It's a basic sneaker. So it's definitely like, you know what I'm saying, it's not nothing too crazy. I do like the classic colors as far as with the red, white, and the black. Um, I, what I don't understand is why they make these shoes limited. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know what to compare it to as far as quality-wise. The one thing that jumps out at me, I guess that I, I could say, is the... I don't know if you guys are familiar, but if you watch my show, if you, not my show, if you watch my channel, you know what I'm saying, you would know that I'm really a fan of the the uh, Air Jordan 1, that whole line, like as far as the highs, you know what I'm saying, this high OG thing that's going on, um, I'm definitely, you know what I'm saying, a fan of that, and I even like the lows too as well. So, if I was to compare this shoe as far as quality wise, you can go and compare it to I would say off my head the Chicago, the low joints. If you guys have those or seen those or, you know what I'm saying, touch them, the quality is a, it's right there with that shoe. You know what I'm saying? And that, was, that shoe to me was a sleeper. I did a little video on those a while back. You can go check that out in case you missed it. But that's what I would uh, fairly compare it to as far as with the leather. It might be a little better, but off my head. Or, or the Midnight Navy. That released this year. The high OGs of those. Go check those out as well. I think I did a video on those as well too. I definitely have those in the collection. Uh, the leather quality is right. This white right here is smooth. But it's still soft. It's right around there. It's not that tumble. You know what I'm saying. And it's not like that wrinkly. You know that nice leather to me. In my opinion. That's the kind of leather I like on a sneaker. It's not like that. But it's still soft. So that's cool for comfort. And you know, it's, it's soft up here around the ankle. I think that's very nice here because it's cushioning. So, you know, I definitely definitely a good look with the soft leather. Here's the back. No jump, man. You guys know what it is. Also, um, I should have put out the other ones. But I will do a comparison video. Just uh, give me a little time or whatever. i do one. Let me know if you want to see it uh, down in the comments. But I think I'll go ahead and do that because um, the... The height on these is supposed to be like the original, so it's a little higher than the last release. 
which not really a big deal to me. I didn't even know that until someone pointed that out to me. So that can tell you how much that really is not really a big deal to me. I thought the last ones were pretty high. So, hey, these are higher, but it's, it's going to be cool because it has a cushion when you're wearing it. It's definitely going to be a it's not going to be hard to like break in or nothing like that. I think that's more so what you had to do with the last point with the last pair. You had to um, break them in. This one, it's kind of got that soft. It's going to be nice wear on your feet. So definitely a good look. It's the white midsole. The outsole is red with the Nike and the check right there. So the tongue. Oh yeah, come with these laces. I seen people lacing them up with the red ones. I don't think I'm going to do that. Well, I might do one with one of my pairs. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. But um, I more so like the the black the black laces. But i seen some people lace them up with red. i seen people doing half and half. It's cool. I think they had a pair that came out with the... Uh, it was in a pack. I think that came with the red laces on these. If I'm not mistaken. I believe it was like that. But it was more of a mid anyway. So, it's not the same shoe. But... For a while, like, that was the one people, a lot of people really liked that. I think it was For the Love of the Game or something. There was a pack of ones. But anyway, I'm rambling, going off topic. Let's take it over here to the box. So here's the box top. You got the Nike with the chick. And here's the box sticker. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG. Box sticker price of 160 I did get these retail on the release date. Um, I could have actually got them for, like, a discount but shorty who was at the register she was kind of confused she see at the at the store she can't give uh discounts for um quick strikes but this wasn't a quick strike you know what i'm saying she thought it was a quick strike and i can understand like she young so she didn't really she probably thought since you know this was a big release and i think it was limited too she probably took it as a quick strike but it's not a quick strike it's, it's a gr but they just limited the quality quantities. So this was cool though. I actually got these on a raffle too. So that was pretty dope, man. That was my first time actually uh you know, I got these through a house of hoops. So it was my first time like uh using they changed up the, the raffle system. They use an app now. So I had the app for a while but I just never utilized and never had really had to, whatever. But um, I went there to like raffle, and she was like, "Oh, now you gotta do it on the phone now." And I was like, "What?" So you know, I went to it, and it, yeah, it had me like all this stuff. I'll talk about it in another video because I kind of want to talk about how my experience my experience was with it. And uh, and anyway, at the end, it was a success. So you know, what I'm saying it was, you know that's pretty dope. But um, yeah, I picked these up retail. Like I said, I could have got them for discount, but yeah. Uh, you know, I didn't really want to go through the hassle of trying to go back and forth with her on that. But she's cool, man. She actually helped me when I was doing the raffle. So, but, yeah, that's it, man. That's all I got for the video. These are the Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG uh, Black Toe Joints, man. Let me know what you think about these. Did you pick these up? Oh, let me show y'all something real quick, too, man. I picked up something with these. Because, you know what I'm saying? I'm ahead of the game, man, when it comes to this sneaker stuff. You know what I'm saying? I don't really follow the trends. I kind of do my own. So I picked this up uh, to I kind of, I guess you could say to go with the shoe. Because I wasn't sure if I was even going to get this shoe because I was doing a raffle. You know what I'm saying? Retail only. I wasn't trying to go crazy, jump hoops for the shoe. So this is what I picked up, man. Look, Jersey. A lot of people, I ain't seen really nobody with this. So it's going to be something different. I wish... I wish this would have happened like over the summer. This would have been fresh for the summer, but you know what I'm saying? I'm going to still do what it do with it. But it's a little, it's a Bulls jersey, but it's a baseball mesh joint. So I think that's pretty crazy. It's different. You only see that too often. Got the Bulls logo right there. Y'all don't go copy me or nothing because I, I heard a lot of people like talking about what they want to wear with it. So y'all don't go copy me with that. Nah, I'm just joking, man. If you like it, go get it. So Mitchell and this. So. But, yeah, that's it. That's all I got for it, man. Y'all um, leave me a comment down in the comment box. Let me know what you think about these. I point out what I like about the shoe. Uh, I like the color pretty much, and I like the quality of the shoe. Overall, it's, 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 a, good, it's a good sneaker, man. It, I anticipated a little more, but that was more my fault. You know what I'm saying? They kept it true to the original on the shoe, and I can't complain about that. Uh, even with the laces, man. <laughs>
You know what I'm saying? I'm not really, man. I always, you know, I want them to lace the shoes back up, man. I'm not really a big lacer. Like, I wear the, the laces that's pretty much in the shoe most of the time. I don't go over the top with that. But that's how they did it in the old school, so I respect that. But uh, let me know what you think about these. And uh, appreciate the views, man. Appreciate everybody who rocking with the channel. If you're a new viewer, hit that subscribe button. If you're a new subscriber, stay tuned. Oh, yeah, y'all, I've been hearing people talk about um, views and stuff like that with their channel like bigger channels than me I, I got some i'm not tripping off of that really but if you could do me a favor because um i guess there's a bell up in the corner hit that bell for notifications uh you know i'm trying to drop you know it's kind of be it's about to be kind of more towards the end of the year so you know what i'm saying i'm gonna try to you know what i'm saying speed it up more get more videos out and um also do my top 10 for the year I've been kind of consistent with that every year for the past couple of years. So, I'm going to keep that going. So, y'all stay tuned for that. More pickups to come as well. And more videos. I'm going to talk to y'all about that app and my experience with that. And I think I'm going to knock out a comparison video as well. So, y'all just stay tuned to the channel. And, uh, oh, yeah, social media. I will have the information in the description box. So, yeah, y'all y'all rock with me, man. And uh, appreciate everybody who still support me. And uh, channel, you know what I'm saying, channel kind of slow moving, but... It is what it is. Just doing this as a hobby, man. And, uh, you know, interact with y'all. But in the meantime, y'all be cool. Always remember, copy what you like, not what they hype. Stay up. Peace.